Hey, it's Chris Hammond again here with ChrisStock.com. In this brief video, I'm going to talk to you about my module development templates again, and I'm going to tell you how you can install those module development templates for Visual Studio 2012 Express for Web Edition. So there are free tools that Microsoft provides for developing with Visual Studio. Express for Web is their web development tool. You can find that from Microsoft.com. If you go ahead and search there for Visual Studio 2012 Express for Web, you should find a link to be able to download. Now, the 2012 Express options are a little bit limited in terms of what they can do versus the paid versions of Visual Studio. And one of those limitations is you don't have access to the Visual Studio Gallery, in which you can download and install certain types of templates. That doesn't mean that those templates will not work with Visual Studio Express for web. It just means you can't go through the gallery to get those. So with that in mind, what I've done with my module development templates is I've created a VSIX file, an installer for those templates, that you can download here from CodePlex. So you're going to navigate to chrisstocktemplate.codeplex.com, and we'll go ahead and click on the Downloads link at the top of the page. That'll take us to the latest release of these Visual Studio templates for .NET Nuke. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and click on the VSIX download file. So if we go ahead and click on that link right here, what we'll see is we'll go through the process of downloading that file. We can save that to our local computer. Now once that file has been downloaded, the installation is pretty straightforward. You simply click on the VSIX file, and you can go ahead and install the templates. Now you'll see here, I actually have a paid premium version of Visual Studio 2012 installed, but if you have the Express for Web option, that would be enabled there as well. So we'll go ahead and install those, click on close, and now if you were to open up Visual Studio 2012, you should have the new .NET Nuke templates available to you, two for C Sharp and two for Visual Basic. Thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for more .NET Nuke tutorials.